Google Lens. To get started, tap the Google Lens icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. If you don't see this icon, this feature isn't available on your phone yet. For more info on how to use Google Lens, tap an option below. Hello guys and welcome back to Medi's Tech Circle. In today's video, I want to show you Google Lens on a Galaxy S7 Edge. So this video isn't just for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or any Samsung device. This will work on any Android device which um, is capable of running the Google Assistant. So Google Lens was something which we have seen on the Google I.O. last year and which came as an exclusive feature for the Google Pixel 2 and Google Pixel 2 XL. Or um, I think we saw Google uh, Lens not on the I.O., just on the presentation of the Google Pixel 2 and Google Pixel 2 XL. So this is a software which is capable to recognize with your camera um, products of things um, you are interested in and show you much more information on that. So um, I want to show you or I want to tell you first what you have to consider. So um, first of all, I live in Germany and it's not available yet in Germany. It's just available when you um, change the phone language on English and the Google Assistant will also change its language on English and then you will be able to see Google Assistant. So Google Assistant will uh, uh, Google Lens, sorry. Google Lens will appear as following. So you open up the Google Assistant and then you will see on the bottom here an icon which you can then select and um, it will open up Google Lens. So here it says tap on what you are interested in and um, remember this, so important to keep. You can um, select what you have scanned to important to keep. You can, I think, also select landscape mode. Yeah, that should work too. So you have a bigger space to take a picture of something. And um, you will have many options here. So you will have options also to share what you have seen. What can you recognize? So you can uh, get some informations on Google Lens. So let's test this feature out. So let's take here a PS4, PS4 DualShock controller and let's see what Google Lens will recognize. So um, yeah, you just take Google Lens, hold it here over the controller, you tap on it and then it says Hmm, game controller, then you can hit like, so glad you like it, and that's it. So apparently it will not show um, things like where you can buy one of these or it don't recognize that's a DualShock 4 controller. So this thing will improve in this feature. So let's try this out with my computer mouse. Let's see what of a result that we get, a mouse. I can help you be productive by scheduling events or saving notes. So maybe if we write something down. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, so te let's test out Google Lens with some handwriting. So here I have written down editing my next YouTube video at 3 p.m. today. So let's open up Google Lens, hold this here over this text. Let's tap this. And let's see what Google Assistant shows you. Is it height handwriting? So yes, it is. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, here it says handwriting. I can save this for you. And then I can select import to keep. So to the keep application you can download from the Play Store or remember to this. So I select remember to this. So now it is loading. So let's see what the assistant does. Okay, it's loading and loading. So maybe this is just... Okay, okay, I will remember that. So now you can ask what did I ask you to remember? And now it will show up and um, 
show you your note you have written down, um, which Google should remember you to do it. But uh, you can also forget all of that and then it will delete this. But um, what normally the Google Assistant would be capable of is, um, yeah, to remember you at or to do this or to, yeah, save this in your calendar. So sometimes I can try it again. Yeah, now it recognized YouTube video. Okay, now it recognized all the text. So this is what I wanted that the Google Assistant shows up because I tried that before. So now it recognized 3 p.m. and other words of my notice here. So the YouTube family, uh, I didn't written down the YouTube family, but it recognized YouTube video and 3 p.m. So when you tap on 3 p.m. it will open up your calendar and then you can note in what you wanted to do. So if you have a date or something, you can scan this with Google Lens and it will jump directly to this date and to this time. And then you can, um, you can save your, um, yeah, your schedule or what you wanted to do in uh, your calendar. So I think Google or Google Lens is just still in a sort of beta, uh, thing. So maybe it will be able to do more with time so we have to wait and see but yeah this was a quick video about the google lens feature in the google assistant so um when you have a galaxy s7 uh, uh, no sorry when you have a galaxy s8 note 8 or note 9 you will have bixby so you all beloved bixby and here you will get something called bixby vision so um it's almost the same like um the google lens feature so yeah we have or I would do really a comparison between those two. So if I will get soon my Galaxy S9 Plus, I would be able to do this. So yeah, I hope this short video about Google Lens um, was interesting. And if yes, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I say see you on the next video. Bye.